Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT, Dynamite, the Explosive One, TNT, D-I-N-O, M-I-G-H-T, what up, Johnny? Oh, you know, dude, just hanging out, we're doing the podcast, it's not, it's not Sunday morning. No, it is not, dude, it, we're, it's the late shift. Ooh, after dark, it's Ooh. literally after dark. <laughs> Don't swim. No, dude, we ain't swimming nowhere, it's we're Corona. Not- I'm barely an adult. Yeah, both of those, both of those, all the, all the above. Uh, thank you for joining us today on the Crazy Town Podcast. Whether you're watching us on our YouTube channel, replays of uh, Crazy Town Media, subscribe there, or Spotify, iTunes, under Crazy Town Podcast. Thank you so much for being a part of our show today. And this guy, he does Twitch things. <laughs> TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock Central. That's TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town. Hells to the yeah. Start your sweat off your neck with your day off correct with Dynamite. Start sweating off your neck while you watch Dynamite <laughs> yeah. correct. Your yeah. grammar. There you go. That works. <laughs> yeah, you should do a stream where you like people come in and talk to you and then you just correct their grammar. Yeah, I, Jonas, that would be great. Like <laughs> if I did just like an English teaching screen <laughs> stream, that would be I great. doubt you would have very many people I know. I'm looking at ways to innovate the stream, man. You know, it's, dude. Would do you have any ideas? All these kids are home from school. Yes. They don't want to be taught by their teacher. No. They could be taught by you. What am I going to teach? English. Them? I'm not proficient enough to teach. You you have a degree. I do not. <laughs> what? <laughs> not in English. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, you have. I mean, to be a substitute teacher, you just have to have a degree, right? I mean, I do have like decades of learning English. Yeah, dude. Like, right. Speaking it. Yeah, dude. I speak it too. Yeah. I spoke it once or twice. Look at that. I used the past tense. Oh, dude. English. You like, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, dude, you could teach them, uh, dude, you could teach them how to hang out in your room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to teach you how to hang out in your room. I mean, that's, that's pretty easy. Yeah, dude. Where is your backdrop, by the way? It should Isn't be it here. Is it in China, dude? Like, No, dude, it's, it's, it's it like, I, if I had my phone, which I haven't seen uh, <laughs> in a year, at least 10 hours, I don't um, know. No, but dude, like. Where is it? Like, where did it's it come from? from? I don't know, dude. This Probably is... China, dude. You've been talking about it for like six weeks. I gotta pick up a new. This is so that 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 backdrop is coming, and then they make their look for people at home. You can have any image you know superimposed onto a cloth backdrop. Yeah. And you can. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you just know, get a green screen, dude. What do you mean? Yeah. No, not like that. I mean an actual cloth backdrop. And then oh, you can just like, like... So you could like take a picture of like your Johnson no, well, and have it made into an embroidery. I don't even know anybody named Johnson, Jonas, for one thing. <laughs> Do you not? <laughs> but if I did, I wouldn't put Mr. Johnson up on a... So you can do whatever you want. You can like, take a picture of our couch, put it yeah. on your backdrop, dude. Yeah, so I've been looking for some six Sasuke images, even though I think putting a picture of the couch may be number two. Dude, uh, they um, usually won't do copyrighted images. Shut in your pic- flipping in a picture mouth. Of Sasuke's probably copyrighted. They can't use Sasuke. I, my guess is if you send them a copyrighted image, they're going to be like, bro, we can't just use someone else's work and make money off What are you talking of. about? It's called copyright law. Like, if you go to Office Max and want them to print out 100 copies of a Sasuke picture, they're going to tell you we can't do that. It's copyrighted. Really? Yeah. What about, well, so what, are, what, am I, what can I get? Just, like, go to, like, stock a images? A picture that you take. Get the hell, a picture I take? That's your copyright. You How own am it. I going to find Sasuke and take a picture of him, Jonas? <laughs> I can't go to Comic-Con, god dang coronavirus. Oh, dude, you, you <laughs> can go get people cosplaying as Sasuke. I bet if you go to Fiverr yes. and you say, listen, <gasps> dress up like Sasuke, yo. take photos, yo. boom, you You're own the rights. You're not even wrong. <laughs> I bet you a million dollars. Yo, Jonas. Look you at know him, there's man. a cosplay girl on there that mm. has cosplay guy friends and she can get the whole Naruto like... Oh, well, now I just want the cosplay girl. Jonas, this is going to take a dark turn. <laughs> 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 it's gonna have me in my room with like sheets of women in like precarious positions. Interesting. 
I mean, Walmart could probably make those for you if you want. I mean, the bottoms of all of them would just be crispy. Oh, dude, it's a shame that you'd have so much flame by them. You'd be charred and burnt. <laughs> yeah. Have Fl you ever played with Legos? Friction flame. Uh, are, are you a Lego guy? You know what, Jonas? I'm not going to even lie to you. <laughs> I was more of a Connects dude. Okay, we, we knew a Lego maniac. Did we? we Zach, were. he's a Lego maniac. That was from the old commercial. And we happen to know a man with the same name who liked Legos, too. Did he like Legos? Oh, he did used to like Legos. <laughs> he did, yes. Yeah. So it wasn't even like a funny coincidence you that couldn't. he was a Lego maniac. Yeah, there was a time where you couldn't be named Zach. Okay, so. It's called 2020. Did Zach Morris bring it back? Did he, like, bring Zach back to being, like, an acceptable name? What, when did that show come out? Oh. So we're talking about Saved by the Bell. It was on... I was, I mean, like, I think we were in, like, junior high yeah. when that was, like, a show, right, maybe? Once again, wonderful time to not have my phone. But, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, I, I mean, that has to be 20-plus years old. The college years came out when we were, like, young adults. It's, it's, no. Don't be they putting... followed our timeline. That's why we related with them so much, bro. Don't tell everybody a Mario Lopez is my age. <laughs> <laughs> you look just like him, too. Like, basically... Black Mario Lopez. <laughs> Just as suave. Cheek Mar dimples and everything. <laughs> Marvin Lopez. Marvin Lopez. <laughs> Jesus. So anyways. Yeah, so I saw online, and I thought this was super cool. Um, they Lego has made, it is a N Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Like an actual Nintendo. Mm -hmm. The cartridge of Mario. A controller. A small TV. On the TV is an image of, like, Mario doing something. It comes with, like, a slider in the back that you can, like, move Mario around on the screen. And it's all made of Legos. No. The Legos that they sell. I don't think it's quite on sale yet. It might be on sale soon. Um, the system door opens. Legos are getting insane. Like, it's, like, almost like you could, like, play it's, it. So uh, you can, like, move Mario around on the screen. Not, like, not, like, through a level, but, yeah, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, so there's moving parts. It's, like, so you would have, like, an NES system and a controller and a game, and it's all made of Legos. Um, How much it is, is It is so advanced, it is 18 plus only. Oh! <laughs> and it is... Oh! 2,646 pieces to build. Oh, I thought you were going to say dollar. <laughs> No, so, it's, <laughs> it's almost 20, no. it's over 2,500 pieces. Yeah. How much do you think it is? Uh, all right. So how many pieces? Is it? Give me the piece count again. 2,646. 26, 2,700 pieces. Basically, yes. Uh, and it's, remember, it's Nintendo, so there's licensing with Nintendo. Yeah, everybody's got to get their hands damp in this one. We yeah, already yeah. know everybody got to get a little, little squirt. Every so, time you deal with Mario, there's always a squirt happening. So let's say it's probably, I'm thinking like $500 for the set. I'd pay $500 You'd for the set. You'd pay $500 to build 2,700-piece Mario? I'm sorry. Am I overboard? Do you know the price of Legos in the store? When's the last time you've been in the toy Legos section? Legos are ridiculous. They are ridiculous. I walked through there one day. It was like, oh, that's a neat little thing. I wonder, oh, $85. And it's like the size of like a softball. I'm like, oh. The Death Star. Yeah. 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 I've seen those prices. Yeah, dude. I was like, oh, man. Lego is... We should... We'll call it Joe Dina Logos. <laughs> and we'll make little pieces that... Are we just going to go take Legos, <laughs> rip the bags open, put them in, like, plastic Ziploc bags and start selling them back to the kids? I got you, Lego. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's what we do. All right. $230. Okay, see, see, I was looking at that. I thought that. that was a lot, dude. It and you're like, lot. And you were like, $500, i am good, I'd pay that. I mean, I would expect it because of, like, the scale you gave it and everything. That I don't it's think like it's a like the size of, like, a real TV. No, I mean, like, it's like a collector's item. Now. Oh, absolutely. I guess if I, had, if I had seen the image of it, maybe I would have been like, I ain't paying 80 bucks for that. I mean, I wouldn't pay $8 for it. It's probably $8 worth of fucking material. Yeah, it's like 8 bucks worth of plastic. Exactly. It's just, like, how can we do something like that, that we sell something that people buy for $230 that isn't cost a lot for uh, us? I guess you just have to endear yourself to uh, the hearts of the children and the American... 
dream. You know what? That's really where it is. It is. It's like if you find something that kids can't resist to buy for a toy and they pester their parents till they want to <sighs> literally break down as human beings. Yeah. That's how you get all the money. That's what Christmas is, Jonas. It's making your parents work really it's, hard to give you I things that they that can't afford. I want for Christmas, so now somebody has to buy it for you. I used to get... Did you get everything you wanted for Christmas most of the time? Um... I mean, I got a good, like, I mean, like, I couldn't be ridiculous, but yeah, I mean, I got a good, like, a good chunk of, like, the things I asked for. Or, That's what's up. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I feel like I got most of, if I wanted a bike for Christmas, I got that bike for Christmas. If I wanted a new Nintendo system for Christmas, I got that too. Um, if I wanted to try to learn a musical instrument for Christmas, I got the music, except for my fucking drums. They never got me to yeah, drums. Well, that was the year of hell for them. One day of joy for you, a year of hell for them. <laughs> Um, they, no, I didn't like, but I guess I didn't like go overboard. You know what I mean? Like, um, I distinctly remember, like, I don't know if I ever got anything really big, like a system for Christmas, because I distinctly remember, like, I wanted the Super Nintendo and I traded in my Nintendo and all my games mm -hmm. to buy a Super Nintendo Mario and like one other game. Mm -hmm. Um, that's the only way I was going to get it. Cause, not, Cause literally I will never forget this till the day I die. We're driving to the, the game exchange place to do this. And my mother's like, I don't know why you want to go get this new system in a few years. You won't even be playing video games. <laughs> and this is, and then like little did she know, here we are. All these years later, I still do play games. Not nearly, I don't play as much as I did then, but up until no. a few years ago, I really did. Yeah, absolutely. And like, uh, it's like she just totally discounted what was happening, and then I still, I would bring that up, and be like, oh, I'm not gonna be playing video games anymore, huh? <laughs> PS2, huh? Give me that PS2, B. <laughs> Well, I don't blame her for not wanting to contribute to that because yeah. I, I think, if anything, like. Love my mom to death, and I definitely appreciate her, you know, doing whatever she needed to do financially to get me. Yeah. Those, but I had every system that I ever wanted to. Yeah, hey, I really like the PS2. There you go. Yeah, she ended up getting me a Sega. Like, yeah. once once she knew I played the Super Nintendo, then I ended up getting a Sega. She got me a PS1, or her and my dad did, because they were separated by that time. Uh, then by the time PS2 came out, I was grown, and it was on me. I had Atari... I did have a Nintendo, too. Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. There's, yeah. there's a reason. I never I never wanted a 64 because there wasn't enough games for me to play. But I, I got one later in life mm -hmm. and played uh, like when I was older. Yeah. Yeah. But I think she did that because she knew she could give me a game and uh, it would leave her the hell alone. <laughs> Well, I, that, maybe that's what did my I mom you, was doing with me. Did I tell you the story about the about the 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 uh, like the the teachers at my school were playing the radio hosts, and she like bribed me to like not go. Yeah, you t you told that one on this on the podcast. Did I? Yeah, but yeah, dude. So she, that, I mean, that proves my point. She's like, oh. I don't want to go do this thing. Here, I'll get you Mario 3 if we don't go. And I'm like, yeah, dude, I want the new Mario game. You know, <laughs> dumbass kid. That reminds me of a of a time where I remember coming home from school. Now I went to Catholic school, like a private school. My mom was really looking out when I, when I get down to it. Yeah. And I came home and somebody had broken into our town home. No. And they stole my Super Nintendo, dude. And I just remember seeing the cops there, and I remember my mom being mad, and I didn't understand why she was mad at the time. And then you were mad because they're your yeah, was gone. dude. Was You're like, I've been trying to get ninety six on just, Mario. I think she just was like, go, to, go, just go to your room for a little bit. I'll be up in a second. Yeah. And like she had to handle that, and like I'm thinking, like, how would I handle a break in as an adult? Oh, I'm getting my gun, Jonas's gun. What? What? You know, the they're not with, even here, dude. No, like, why the, do you the gun with the serial number scratched off that you have? Oh, the secret one, yes, the secret gun, yeah, yeah, right? Dude. Everybody has Speaking one of those. Of, uh, guns, did you hear about um, what up? Like, a protester was shot in Austin, really? I thought all that was happening in Portland. Man. Um, well, here's what happened, and it was funny Jeez. because today I read the story last night, and then today. I saw a bunch of people posting things on Instagram that this unarmed man was shot during the Black Lives Matter protest, da 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 this, that, the other. The story was, this dude brought an AK-47 to the protest. Oh, come on. The dude who got shot. Yeah, a car, well, I get it. A car 
drove not into the crowd, but drove, was driving in an area a car was not supposed to be. The man approached him, aimed the AK-47 at him. It's fucking Texas. The dude in the car had a gun, shot his ass, and drove off. Because he was fucking intimidated because a man was approaching him with an AK-47. And the guy who shot the guy drove away, called the police, turned himself in, and the police let him go after they, like, questioned him and, like, whatever. Because there is a picture of the dude aiming an AK-47. Okay, we'll see. There you Okay, okay. I was going to say, look, it's it's his story against his in but one no, case. No, there's a but... ton of people right, that so, saw it, too. Yeah, and cell phones all over the yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, but, like, I'm like... No, I don't think anyone should die. But one, why are you bringing an AK-47 to a protest for one? Like, <laughs> look, no, fuck that shit. Bring your AK-47 to the goddamn protest. Why? Fuck why do you need shit. it? Because if it's America, goddamn okay. it. I mean, I get it. I get from that perspective. Like, I'm bringing it because I can bring it. If you can go waving it around and pointing it at people in your front yard, guess what, motherfucker? We can bring it and wave it around when we when everybody else needs to do it as yeah. well. I don't have a problem with that, but why the fuck are you pointing it at somebody? First rule of gun safety is do not point this thing at anything that you do not intend to kill. Right. It will that's why I'm like the man in the car was probably like, oh shit. Asterix or get killed <laughs> right <laughs> or get yeah, killed like, yourself i was just like but it was it, i just thought it was interesting that they were like saying he was unarmed and this that and the other and i'm like the story i read all the stories i read said he had an, a gun and pointed it at the guy that's, that's why he crazy. got crazy now jonas i'm not a violent person oh me neither i would never i don't i don't we honestly do not have a gun in the house no, even I, though I I, love i've the never chain. i've oh, never owned a gun we should definitely change that because it is texas and when in rome you know right dude i mean like you just invite somebody <laughs> in and then you're defending yourself but i'm gonna 100 percent tell you right now yeah that I would never shoot a person, but if a motherfucker points an AK-47 at me, he's getting fucking shot. <laughs> All right? <laughs> because if it's me and you, it's always going to be me. <laughs> right. It's always well, right. Like, be Well, me. that was my thing. It's like, who knows what the circumstances was? Uh, I don't know, you know, I don't know what the guy in the car said. I don't know what the guy outside the car said. You know, whatever. Well, but the thing, the thing that, um, the thing I think they're trying to play off of, it was, it was a white dude who got killed. At the protest, he has a black paraplegic girlfriend. Wait, what? He has his girl. <laughs> his girlfriend is black. She, she. They've been dating since they were children. Oh, she doesn't have any hands or feet because oh. she got had, had sepsis and lost her limbs. Oh, he's been taking care of her forever. Oh. he's like very vocal and like Black Lives Matter and things and whatever. Oh. but he still had an AK forty seven at the protest and like aimed it at a man. Oh, so but they don't know. But like, there's been no dialogue of like. Did the guy in the car talk shit? Was the guy in the car trying to do something? But he still pointed an AK-47 oh. at this dude, and he so, ended up shot and got killed. Wait a minute, Jonas. Since I don't agree with what he did, am I a Republican now? <laughs> no, Republicans love guns. No, because I don't agree with the guy that... Uh, I agree with the dude that shot the dude and ran. And oh. I, so I'm a Republican now, right? Does that mean you are a Republican? Yeah, dude. I think it, give me the MAGA hat, Jonas. Go get the one out of your closet. <laughs> you could be Kanye's running mate, dude. <laughs> that's that's independent and no. <laughs> you already said you would work for him if he paid you enough. Oh yeah, come on, John. I sell out in a heartbeat. <laughs> Let's sell out. And you're like, listen, if I had to sell out to be able to sit in my room for the rest of my life and never have to work because I had enough money to pay my bills. Exactly. I'm in. Yo, Kanye could hit the podcast up tomorrow and tell both of us and we would change the whole podcast and come back totally different. <laughs> <laughs> the next week. We'd be pod- singing about sewing. <laughs> we do it all in show tune voices. Thinking about. Fine. Welcome to the Crazy Down Sewing <laughs> channel. <laughs> We'd be like. <laughs> Vaccines are the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. All right. We don't have a ton of time, so I got a quick hit yeah. about some. Uh, I'll, I'll, I want. I want to talk more. Duh. All right. So in Florida, Georgia. Florida, Georgia. Gotcha. I mean, Georgia might as well be Florida. What's that country oh. band? Florida, Georgia line, dude. They're like, dude. They're like, bro. We're right, but the do. What? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> They're a country man, though. Yes. But yeah, dude, Florida, they're Georgia. Like, they're basically the same thing. What happened there? Police were called 
They found a body on the motherfucking railroad tracks, Goddamn dude. Goddamn bodies. Just yeah, dude. Throwing your bodies all throwing over the place. Throwing your bodies all around on the railroad tracks. A puddle of mud. So, you know, they quarantine off the area, call in the detectives, they show up. Boom. He comes up, he goes, this is my crime scene now, Stan. Get Ooh. the fuck out of here. I'm going to go take care of this. That's the kind of dick I like. Yeah, dude. Private he walks dick. up. Checks out this petite little clothed woman. Oh, no. Finds out it is a fucking sex doll. Oh, my God. Somebody had a fully clothed, like, one of those high-end sex dolls <gasps> and left it on the railroad tracks. And they found it and thought it was a dead body because it was fully clothed and was, like, the size of a real woman. All right, Jonas. I want you to tell me the story of the man who left that sex doll there. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, go. You know, I was trying to think about this. <laughs> I, That's like, the my, first my thing first, I thought about. My first thought was like, Come on, that give dude it to left me. a lot of money on the railroad. No, give me some ambiance. Oh, okay. Give me no, some well, I'm just telling you where my thought process oh, okay, is. Fine. You know, I'm like, God damn, he spent a lot of money to leave this. Here's what I'm thinking. He's sitting at home. Okay, sitting at home. Hi, my name is Troy, and I'm sitting at home. Okay. I'm drunk. Mm -hmm. He's like... Man, I really want to fuck my sex doll right now. Mm, which one? Because you know he has more than one. <laughs> He's like, Susanna. Ooh. Yeah. But Julie hates Susanna. Yeah, exactly. He's Julie like, does not approve. Julie doesn't approve of Susanna. So you know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to take Susanna down to the railroad tracks. Yeah. Because I want to get it rough and dirty with Ooh, her down there. One last in public. One, one last ride. Yeah, smash her face on the railroad tracks. <laughs> 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 She always liked it she like that. She always liked it rough. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he goes down there. Uh -huh. He's drunk. Uh -huh. He's got the bottle. He's got a bottle with him. He's got. What, what's, oh, the, what's the bottle of? Ooh, he's drinking. Uh, what is this man Southern drinking? Comfort. Oh, fucking goddamn it. Southern Comfort and Sex Dials always go together. Yeah, dude. He's fucking. Alliteration. He's fucking her with the Southern Comfort <laughs> bottle. He's like. He's got got <laughs> Southern Comfort up her ass. He's penetrating her from the front. Let's go, Jonas. And then. I'm just grossed and then, out. And I'm so grossed out as well. And then. uh. And then he 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 nuts. He gets post nut. <laughs> <laughs> nuts. All right, we didn't need to get that graphic with yes. it. He gets post nut clarity. <laughs> he gets spooked. All right. Because uh, somebody's rustling in the weeds. He thinks it was a deer. He's wearing a trench coat. He pulls his jeans yeah. up. And he runs to the car because he's like, I just gotta get out of here real quick. Yeah. Fuck that. And then he forgets because he's drunk that he left the sex doll there. He no. goes home. He fucks Julie, his sex doll, oh, Julie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, Susanna who? That bitch got a busted head. I was smacking it on the railroad tracks. He's like, I did it, Jules. I did, yeah, I did it. <laughs> Just you and me now. I got rid of her. Yeah. I took her down to the, to the railroad tracks so we could be alone. That is the most disgusting thing we ever talked it's about probably exactly what happened though it probably is yeah. very close yeah yeah he just wanted he's wanted to live on the edge man he wanted to get rough and dirty <laughs> he wanted and to live on the edge. <laughs> he wanted to get rough and tumble in the stones of the railroad track you know there's always rocks on the railroad tracks yeah i feel like the kind of guy that would buy a sex doll would buy two sex dolls i know i feel like the guy who uh would buy one and would buy two would have them like a narrative of how they felt about each other mm. and would go and fuck it in public down by the tracks did not make the other one upset yes very true and then he would come home and tell her the story about he got rid of her and it was just them now the old aaron hernandez <laughs> what? Wait, wait <laughs> take him out to the quarry and murder him real story yeah he's gonna okay. take her down to the quarry and murder her <laughs> i thought we were just having a fun lighthearted time <laughs> Talk now we're like no you know what <laughs> harvey epstein did it he did. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein. You, you mixed Epstein and Weinstein. Well, look, man. All the Steens, What's dude. the other one's name? The Steens Wh did it. What's the woman's name? Oh, is her name like Giselle or something? Jillian Giseline Gis Maxwell? Jizzy Maxwell? Well, I wish her well. She, she, I heard she's going to have something happen. You know, it was a joke. So that's, are, we, are we done? Yeah, her <laughs> Happened to her, dude. It was, it was, she she didn't kill herself. No. She didn't get corona. We just wish her well, Jonas. Yeah, dude. Best of luck to you in that uh, in that <laughs> in that place you're in. What? What are you laughing about? 
it's it's not Jonas. It was a sub. It was a subliminal. Ah, wish her well, it, dude. It's, Best it's, of luck. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to explain it because the then it ruins the joke. Huh? All right, man. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Nice, nice episode today. Really good episode. You know what's great? It was Episodes. off the rails. This episode. off the rails. Good episode. Great episode. I you know what's not? You know what's really great? People. People are great. We're great. You know what we are? We're people. <laughs> Very true. I, I've been a person my whole life. <laughs> yes. But uh, yeah, dude. For Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are. Oh,